Welcome back guys to the Poor Investor Konnichiwa and hello. I want to first start off with that I purchased additional hardware for my wire shelf setup because I don't think I'm going to be transferring my GPUs over there. I need to set up a virtual box and my primary OS for that will be Ubuntu. And why am I doing that? Well, for two reasons. One, I want to mimic how if I was to pretend that one of my machines were the ones who actually compromised my mnemonics. I want to see if I make change just to that pool how would that react will i be able to kind of dictate where the awards go to if i was the person who was devious enough to do all that right so this is kind of a follow-up to my last video i wanted to make sure that before i give out additional information on top of that is that if someone has your mnemonic can they take your rewards even though they don't have the plots i wanted to see where does that go? I haven't seen anyone do that. So I am going to be loading VirtualBox to do all that and run the full client, a full node on Ubuntu. Now, the next thing I wanted to mention is that I will be taking the pen test plus. So I'm, I'm going to read the book. I'm going to study for it. It's no cost to me because my work is actually going to provide the exam for me. Now, I do have the older version. You can see right here, the PT001. It is at PT0002. Now, I don't know how much difference there is. I have to look that up, but I guess I'll finish the version one first. And if necessary, I'll just pick up the book. If I feel confident that not a lot has changed ver like between the versions, even though it's like 2018, 19, 20, three years apart. So every three years, you're supposed to renew this exam. So I just want to show you guys really quick. This is the exam and I have this version of the book. The amount of questions are still the same. It's 165 minutes and passing score is 750. Retirement is April 26, 2022. Too. So as of right now, this book, the, the version one of this book is practically almost done in two weeks, actually, usually three years after launch. So once this once this expires, this will be out. And I, I'm, I'm just going to take it because I do have other certifications. I have the Security Plus, I have the SSCP. I haven't done the CISSP yet. I have like Cisco certs and, and Microsoft certs. I guess in a way, it, I've had too many certs. Ugh, my goodness, it gets overwhelming, to be really honest. And the fact that they keep on expiring, it almost feels like it's definitely a scam. They keep on trying to bring you back and, you know, make you attend these seminars and these boot camps and stuff like that. But anyway, one of the things I wanted to do right now, even though I actually you know what, since I have it up and right running right now, I'm going to flash this file because I already downloaded the Ubuntu, which I am going to be installing onto AMD Ryzen 7 1700X it has 32 gigs of RAM. It has a one terabyte SSD at minimum. I'll probably have about two VMs at maximum. I'll probably have four. And if I need additional, I'll probably swap it out for more memory but running these hosts is probably going to be really minimal at best for what i'm planning to do with it so i do have a usb stick that i'm going to be popping in here and i will be loading up the ubuntu and once i have that done i'll be installing the virtual box and why i select the virtual box over the vm workstation is because i've actually I've used VirtualBox in the past, but not to that extent. I was a previously, maybe a while ago, I was an EXSI uh, admin, which I haven't done, you know, VM stuff for uh, quite some time, actually. So I do have a USB drive in there right now, and I will be flashing this with the Ubuntu. All right, so it is flashing right now. Just wanted to put it out there that I don't know, would you guys be interested in following my journey for this pen test exam? I'm not sure if that would be really interesting, but I guess it's something unique and different. I know there's plenty of probably uh, YouTube videos that people do that specifically on their channel talking about exams and, you know, cybersecurity stuff. But, you know, this is something new for me as far as talking about it in front of a video. I wish I was able to record all the other certifications that I did like many, many moons ago with the Microsoft stuff and the Cisco stuff. I have done a lot of training on vendor specific projects that we have, you know, Zscaler, CrowdStrike and, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, continuously, Cisco is never ending to be really honest. The web filtering, content filtering stuff and uh, the list goes on and on. I mean, that, that, that's just part of work and that's what I do. So I find this to be like really intriguing and really interesting and I love doing this stuff. So the one thing I wanted to do specifically, I really want to pretend like after I load up the VMs, having Ubuntu a full node of Chia on there and then 
using that as and putting in my mnemonic that I have and pretending I was the person who stole it and see what changes I can actually make and where I can redirect the payout addresses to and see if that actually works or not. And then I'll give you guys, you know, I'll probably do a full recording once I have all that set up and you guys can follow me and go on that journey to see how that works. I would love to use whatever knowledge I gain from the actual studying this or, you know, I've also looked into the OSCP exam many many years ago i just never went for it i just didn't go that route it's definitely a a journey with that one it's a 24 hour exam that they give you a full 24 hours whether you sleep or not that's dependent on you and you take it and i'll just give you guys a quick look into what the hell that is oscp it's offensive security they use kali linux and it has a whole bunch of tools in there and you just go at it i mean it's it's a workhorse of a pen test red team kind of you you know penetration testing it's really deep i've looked into it in the past as you can see the prices are definitely a lot more than what the pen test plus exam is 381 dollars compared to like these courses and let's just see the retake is 249 one attempt plus the practice so i guess they got bundles right these packages uh prices are pretty pretty steep i'm sure my company will be willing to definitely reimburse a lot of these if i pass it if if i pass it right it, that's a that's a big word I, I you know i like reading into this stuff but for the exam itself it's pretty deep just my fear is that i don't may not have enough time especially with kids around now if i was single i'll go all out i would go all out on this for sure but right now i'm just going to take the pen test let me just take it slow and see how that works out it's a, it is a multiple choice exam so i don't expect multiple even though i shouldn't say that multiple choice exams can still be pretty pretty deep it makes it a little bit easier where you don't have to solve questions right so my ubuntu is done and i will start flashing that stuff pretty much came here to say is that i will be setting that up this will be a new journey for me where i do the pen test plus but at the same time i'll do recordings in regards to if i was the chia hacker that got someone's mnemonic i want to see what i can do with their pool information i want to thank you guys for being here please hit that like comment and subscribe and make sure to always come back for these great videos that i'm putting out there and every time you guys give me a comment or a like it just means that much to me. Appreciate it and I'll see you guys again soon.